vai fa fit wala Baby my love back me Ah say na your cruise I like Show me that your miracle tonight Take me high I wanna feel alright If I don't body Baby go say you the totori And I no want to the bother you But I want to if you Show me, show me If I don't body Baby go say you the totori Me I no want to the bother you But I want to if you Show me, show me One day if you see the mommy Yeah, yeah, na na na, yeah, yeah. It's Mr. Fabe on a bit, Mr. Fabe on a bit. Yeah. It's a new day, it's another day. I thank God that I made it, yeah, that I made it this far. Yesterday it's already over. Today is another chapter. I believe you got a lot for me. This is the day.
This is a good day for us to rejoice for the marriage of these two couples today. 
God is the witness for this wedding today. If we read in the book of 14, God is the witness at the wedding. And he's right here, right now. He's going to call me for dinner. Yes, the Lord. We can sit. We will see the white When it's time to see the white Music. Yes. Hey. You are quiet. Yes. 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 Mimi pia akae and the husband as well to have a seat. Na sote kwa jumla kae and all of us together to you have a seat. Tusikie pambio za nyimbo so we can follow the songs. Ambazo zimeandaliwa kwa ajili ya ndoa. That has been prepared because of this way. Na baada ya nyimbo hizo and after the songs tutakwenda kumwalika pastor Eme. We are going to invite pastor Eme atakwenda kumwalikia ndoa. And it's going to bless the wedding. Pinga makofi kwa ajili ya Yesu. We are going to cause the choir from here. They are going to give us one exciting song. They are going to give us one song. And we are going to give us one song. Okay, we are going to give us one song. Let's just enjoy this. God bless you, Amen. Samani sema tena kwa moja jumba kisha tena kwa moja and then tena kwa nyingine Asante sana
so beautiful. Praise the Lord. I am here with my wife. Now, Lord, good news and praise you. So one day Chris will realize my life is so empty. Lord, where is that right lady? <laughs> and Jesus brought Flora into his life. The Bible says that inheritance is from the Father, but the good wife is from the Lord. Amen. Mungu amesema kwamba inheritance inatoka kwa baba lakini baraka zinatoka kwa mke anatoka kwa mume. What that means is that there is something in your life that only God can give you. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba kuna kitu kimoja maisha yako ambayo Mungu pekee ndo anaweza kupatia. Salvation and blessing only God can give. Uh, salvation na nani na wokovu ni Mungu tu ndo anaweza kupatia. Good wife and good husband only God can give. That's why you need to ask God, Lord, where is that right person? Send that right person to my life. Don't, singles, don't, don't rush. Pray that the Lord will send you right And let me tell you this. How do you know the person is a right person? Often we young people make this mistake. How does that person treat other people? Does that person own a father and mother? If that person doesn't own a father and mother, breaks God's command, he will not be good to you. A person who disobeys God, one day will be unfaithful to you. So sin how that person treats other people. Angalia gisi huyo mtu anavyotreat watu wengine. How is a person treats parents? Huyo mtu anakaaje na wazazi wake? How is a person treats employer? Huyo mtu wake anaangaliaje ule boss wake kukaa? How is a person treat other people he works with? Huyo mtu ananiwa na treatage wafanyakazi wenzake. Watch that person. Angalia huyo mtu. He may be good to you. Anaweza kuwa mzuri kwako. She may be good to you. Anaweza mzuri, anaweza kuwa mzuri kwako. If he or she does not treat other people right, biblically. Lakini kama atrete watu wengine vizuri kibiblia, don't be blinded by them. Usiwe mkofu. One day it will turn against you. Siku moja itakugeukia. So watch how the person treats other people. Angalia gisi gani huyo mtu anatrete watu wengine. How he or she treats God? And only then how she or she treats you. This is important to know. Because if one person cheats government on tax, that means in that person's heart there is a deception. And one day, he or she will cheat on you. You remember that? Don't burn, get into the covenant with the person who cheats government on tax. Because one day, that person will cheat on you. Be careful, be wise. Now, coming back for what Pastor Elijah said, we believe Christ is here. And I tell you why I believe He's here. Imagine, according to the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus said when he was on earth, when Jesus was on earth, he said he does everything according to God's plan. Wakati Yesu alikuwa hapa duniani, alisema anafanya kila kitu kama Mungu anavyomwamba. Everything Jesus did was according to Father's and God's plan. Kila kitu Yesu alichofanya ilikuwa kufuatana na mipango ya Mungu. His death on the cross for you was according to God's plan. Alikufa msalabani sababu yako kama jinsi Mungu alivyopanga. And this all that is the reason of salvation. Na hiyo ndo hakuna njia nyingine ya kwa. His resurrection was a God's plan. Ufufuo wako ulikuwa ulikuwa sababu ya mpango wa Mungu. Every miracle Jesus did was according to God's perfect plan. Kila miracle ambayo Yesu alifanya ilikuwa sababu ya plan ya Mungu. And imagine the Holy Trinity, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit up in the Trinity planning Jesus life on earth. Imagine Mungu Bwana Roho na Mungu Baba Roho na Roho Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu aliyopana Bwana kila kitu. This is your imagination. Imagine. If na jua iko. I think of planning Christ ministry, Christ ministry on earth. Walikuwa na panga jinsi gani ministry ya Yesu kakuwa hapa duniani. And now when they were planning it was a turn to plan miracles. Na wakati walikuwa wanapanga wakaangalia jinsi gani watafanya miujiza. So Father Son and Holy Spirit planning what should be the first miracle to start to kick start to launch the Jesus ministry. Kwa hiyo Mungu Baba Roho Mungu Baba Bwana na Roho Mtakatifu wakajipanga jinsi gani watakuwa miracle ya kwanza ambayo watafanya. I wasn't invited to that planning meeting. Hakukua kwa hiyo planning meeting. And I'm glad that I wasn't invited. Na nishukuru sababu hakukua hiyo. Because if you would have asked me, Emil, what do you think should be Jesus first miracle? Sababu angeniuliza mimi, unaona Yesu afanye nini kabisa mara ya kwanza? I would say I would say resurrection of Lazarus. Akisema eti basi mtoe mfufue Lazarus. Because first miracle must be capturing imagination miracle sababu miracle ya kwanza inapaswa kuwa ina capture watu kabisa the guy was there for four days and jesus comes and raises him miracle number one sababu lazaro alikufa siku nne alafu yesu akaja akamfufua akasema hii ndio miracle ya kwanza if you are asked what do you think should be the first miracle if you will you see us i get to now ungeona miracle gani ilikuwa ya kwanza kabisa maybe you say feed it 5000 labda ungesema akulishe watu That must be miracle number one. Thousands of people hungry. What miles from my house? And when men are hungry, they also angry. Makatwa na ume na watu wapawa ko nanga uwa sana sana wamakuwa na nani? That's why sometimes when men comes home and he is hungry, when wife asks question, he is angry. Mara nyingi mimi akifika nyumbani na nja una unajiuliza kwa nini uko ni serikali serikali Imagine 5000 people are hungry. Imagine sasa imagine sasa watu 1500 ambao wako na this should be the first miracle. Mtu mmoja anaweza sema kila na hili ndio kwa miracle kwa. Jesus fought feeding 5000. Yesu kukulisha watu 1500. Maybe you can suggest free a demon possessed person should be miracle number one. Labda kutoa mashetani kwa kwa mtu ambaye yuko na majini. Or heal paralyzed person should be the number one. Au kuonyesha mlemavu kwa mfano. The divine trinity. Lakini Mungu, Father and Holy Spirit, Bwana mtoto na Roho Mtakatifu. When they were planning Jesus miracles on earth. Wakati walikuwa wanapanga miracle ya Yesu hapa duniani. And when they were putting them in order. Wakati walikuwa wanaitia muoda. And number one wasn't the reason Lazarus Miracle ya kwanza ilikuwa kufufua Lazaro. Number one was on the feeding 5000. Miracle ya kwanza ilikuwa kulisha watu 5000. It wasn't to heal a paralyzed person. Haikukua kuponyesha wale mambo. It wasn't casting demons from demon possessed. Haikukua kufukuza majini mapepo. A divine trinity, Mungu, said, Mungu, number first miracle. Miracle ya kwanza should be. Miujiza ya kwanza itakuwa at the wedding. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jesus, you should go to the wedding. Say that. Father said, Jesus, you should go to the wedding. Mungu akasema, unapaswa enda kumaliza. To launch the ministry, to kick start the ministry. Can you go to the wedding? Ili uanzishe ministry ya Yesu, unapaswa enda kweli. That's why Pastor Elias is confident that Jesus is here. Na ndio maana Pastor Elias Elias amesema Yesu yuko hapa. And I'm confident Jesus is here. Na vile vile naamini Yesu yuko hapa. For such an important priority that was miracle number 1. Sababu hiyo ndio ilikuwa mjiza wa kwanza. Go to the wedding. 
kwenye ndoa bless the wedding kwa bariki turn the water into wine akageuka akageuza maji kwa divai christ is here amen yes we go and that is a great it is important for you yeah. yes. the marriage is important for you ndoa ni muhimu sana and one day siku moja he will call christ to be accountable tutaita christ akwe accountable christ account to do the accountable yeah tunamwita chris akwe account chris you gave the promise yeah you would cherish flora as i love the church utamkamata flora kama jinsi gani na kamata hii na kamata kanisa chris i died for church chris napenda kanisa are you ready to die for her una unaweza kufa sababu ya flora you you call him accountable Yes wa tamuliza Chris. He will call Flora accountable. Atamuliza Flora vile vile. Because he says why if she submit to the husband the way the bride the church that needs to Christ. Sasa alisema mme anapaswa kamata mke wake kama vile wa Yesu anavyokamata kama vile kanisa anavyokamata Yesu. He was Chris did you care for her the way I care for church? Atamuliza Chris una una kamata Flora kisi na tunavyokamata kanisa. He was told Flora did you submit to Chris the way the church submits to me? Atamuliza Flora unajitimiza unachukuliza kwa Chris kama kisi na kanisa anavyokuliza kwa. So the vows you are about to give it's not in front of the believers only it's also in the presence of almighty god kwa hiyo maneno unayosema sio tu sababu ya watu ambao wako hapa ni sababu ya ushahidi wa Yesu almighty god who put marriage in such a priority mungu aliyetia priority kubwa sana kuweza so that was miracle number one na hiyo ndio ilikuwa mjiza wana sifiwe marriage ndoa is not a contract sio contract is a covenant hiyo ni kadama is a covenant you enter the covenant unconditional yeah ni agano ambalo halina condition you never say or oh, if you do this i will do that sio ti nafanya hivi alafu anafanya hivi you do the dishes if you do the dishes i'll clean outside ti ukiosha masahani alafu na mimi nitakata majani you love sacrificially una kwanza ji sacrifice you love unconditionally unampenda bila condition yoyote the way that jesus loved you kama jesus yesu anavyokupenda covenant cannot be broken agano haliwezi kujika in covenant you seek the interest of the other side kwa katika agano unaangalia interest ya ile upande wake not what is good for me usiangalie tu eti mimi cha kutabaki but what is good to my part unapaswa angalia nini kinaenda kwa How can I love you more? Kisi gani naweza mpenda zaidi? How can I love you more? How kisi kisi gani naweza mpenda zaidi? Now, in our important thing, Chris, I I have to tell you as a man to man. Na paswa ambia Chris kama vile mwanaume kwa mwanaume. We may tend to be very romantic before the marriage. Sisi wanaume sana sana tunakuwa na romance mbele ya mariage. We send messages. We like more messages. We sing songs. We like more music. Finish 
after the marriage, it should actually continue to be even stronger. And I wish at least six, seven children. Now, no, 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 I no, 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 I said, multiply and increase. So it's four plus. So it's easy math. But the most important is that you will work under the God's blessing. The Bible says, the man should leave his father and mother. That means both of you leave your household you still under the obligation to honor your father and mother you cannot break God's command but all the relatives, moms and dads, family members you need to respect that this is a new established independent You want to help them? Pray for them. Don't interfere their relationship. They have pastors. They have leaders. They will look after them. Flora's parents, relatives. Chris is now your son. Chris is relative and family members. Flora is your daughter now. Flora is your daughter. There is no my side or your side. There is no such thing. Two become one. He is your son and she is your daughter. Unless they make their decisions. Now, when you, unless you uh, 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 make this decision. Yeah. They have pastors, they have church, they have mentors, they will work after them. Kanisa, wakona wafasa, wakona kila mtu they should leave father and mother. Wanaacha familia za baba na mama. And become one flesh. Now, na kuja pamoja kama mwili mmoja. Now, Chris and Flora. Chris and na Flora. Why God tells us? Bible na sema kwamba. Love never fails. If one day you say, I don't love you anymore, you fail. Because God's love never fails. You fail. If you feel that, you need to go to the room, close the door, kneel down, and the Lord, on the 7th of November 2020, in front of you and community believers, I promise to love unconditionally. Because Lord will call you accountable. Absolutely remember is a covenant. Marriage is a covenant. And you need to be faithful to God. And to Amen. Amen. Good, good. Now, uh, Chris and Flora. If it please, Chris and Flora. Pastor Elijah said wise words about marriage. Pastor, I shared something as well. Nothing new. But just refreshing what your pastors and Teaching you every Sunday. You need, to, you need to respect your pastor and love your pastor. They work hard. They want young couples to prosper. 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 But families divorce. Listen to your past. 
Sikilizeni pasta. Do anything you can not to come to split of the world. Fanya chochote uwezacho ili msiachane. Why do you why do you get your children to suffer? Kwa nini unapenda watoto wako asifiwe? There is always a right way if you submit to God and say to us. Wakati iko njia wakati unajitia majini. Christa Flora. Christa Flora. You heard words from the Bible. Those of you confess that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Are you ready to enter the covenant of marriage? Yeah. Can I ask you to to stand? Tunakuja katika tinda ambao ni muhimu sana. When Chris and Flora will pronounce vows before God. Chris and Flora anapenda kusema maneno. And that's why I emphasize before God. Mbele ya Mungu. And you. Na nyie vile vile. So pray for them. Tuombe. Chris can I ask you when I speak you in a loud voice Close the Lord's hand and look into your eyes. Look into your eyes. And your dad brought her and gave her some food. And your dad brought her. Oh, Baba, I'm in Leta and I got Patia. Baba, I got Flora. I'm in Leta, Flora, and I got Patia, Flora. But she is also Jesus' daughter. Na vile vile ni, ni mtoto wa Yesu. Tunajua babake ya ya Flora anapenda kabisa. This is my daughter. I need to protect her. Ndio ni mtoto wangu anapaswa kuprotezi kabisa. Na Yesu vile vile anapenda. Huyu ni ni fia wa Dora. Mwangalie. And you pick up the baby. Na sasa mimi na sasa ni na hiyo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ah, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Keku Flora. Anamchukua Flora. Keku Flora. Kama mkua wake. To help and to help. For this day of God. Kwa hansa leo kwa nabela. For better for what? Kwa mazuri na mabaya. For each and for poor. For the children and for the masculine. In sickness and health. For Afia and for Magonjo. To love and to cherish. For to cherish. For to cherish. Until death. Until death. Until death. Death as a part. It will be a man. So happy he was. Yes, I did. Amen. Kwanza leo 
for better for wealth, for better for poor, for rich and for poor, for in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, and to until death set us apart.
wakati wa kulia kuna wakati wa kucheka pia kuna wakati wa kupanda kuna wakati wa kuvuna eh pia kuna wakati wa kufa na kuzaliwa uwezi penda mema tu usipopenda mabaya eh kumbuka kuna siku za furaha na siku za uzuni uwezi penda mema tu usipopenda mabaya eh kumbuka kuna siku za furaha Uzuri lakini leo leo ni siku ya furaha leo ni siku ya kusherekea leo ni siku ya furaha wana wili wamefunga ndoa leo ni siku ya furaha leo ni siku ya kusherekea leo ni siku ya furaha wana Papa Soliste Ni jambo la muhimu Wawili kuunga ni Yesu hapa moja Wakikubaliana Kuyaanza maisha yao Na leo kaka Grise Na dada Florence Leo ameamua kuyaanza maisha yao eh twaombe amupenda eh twaombe amupenda eh twaombe amupenda twaombe leo ni siku ya leo ni siku ya pura leo ni siku ya kusherekea Leo ni siku ya pura 
l'impression Où j'ai bien chéri, je suis pas très loin
got no second guess. I know that God will lead me the way. If you're happy and you know it, uh, in my heart. just get down on one knee.